Hey, what is up, OC? I am back with another vlog, and today I'm gonna sit back down with you guys and talk to you guys about what it's like exactly to live with a roommate. And yeah, so because when I first got a roommate, I was um, really nervous just because I didn't know what to expect. I've always had my own room, always had my own space when I needed it, and now I was gonna be sharing a whole room with somebody, and the room isn't huge, so like, hopefully we can get along and it was just one of my biggest fears and luckily I got my roommate and she's on the cheer team with me and our experience has been pretty good we have not had like any major fights or anything like that that's one thing I was super scared of but we did not have any major fights but I'm just gonna give you guys a couple tips on things that you should bring and things to expect when living with a roommate so first off one of the things that you need to bring is some headphones because your roommate is going to be playing music or doing something that and your roommate is going to be doing something maybe that you don't want to hear or something and you're not you don't want to ask her to stop if that's what she's doing because it's her room also so if you don't mind bring some headphones to put in just so you can block that out or whatever and if she's up late and wants to listen to music while studying bring some headphones to fall asleep to and if you do have a problem, you can talk to her about it or him about it just to figure that out. Another thing is um, a sleeping mask, like the eye covers for um, bed. That's a personal um, thing if you and your roommate have the same sleeping schedule. Um, for me, my roommate does homework at night, which is totally fine. Um, so I, when I'm sleeping and she turns on like her little desk lamp, which isn't too bright, I put on my... Um, covers for my eyes just so I can fall asleep better and get the sleep that I want and then another tip is just to make sure that you guys work with each other don't like fight over stupid things work out a schedule on cleaning if that's a problem and just really work on that um one thing I really like that I did is my bed is lofted if you want to see more of the room go check out my room tour which is posted somewhere on the OC story so go check that out but my bed's lofted and my roommate's bed is not. So it's easier for me to get a little bit more space, kind of like alone time. Like when I'm underneath my um, bed, I get time to do my work. My roommate usually knows I'm doing homework or something. So she tries not to bother me. And I really like, just like I get like more of a space, I feel like. So if that's something you want to do, I really recommend doing that. Um, another thing with room rooming with a roommate is talk to each other before moving in about who's bringing what for example me and my roommate I brought the TV in the fridge she bought the microwave and um, cleaning supplies and stuff we just really split that up equally just so we could all have what we needed and then when we move out we'll take the things that we bought with us and that'll be it but really talk to each other about that talk about sharing food if that's a problem if you, you don't want to share your food or if you do want to share your food talk to each other about that and just make sure you guys clean up after yourself that's a big thing for roommates make sure your sides clean and that you clean up after yourself because you don't want to be a messy person while they're trying to do something and they can't because it's messy so yeah um that's definitely a lot to take in but i think Living with a roommate is an awesome thing because I've learned a lot already with it only being a few months living with a roommate. I think it's made me learn a lot. <laughs> so definitely, I do think you should consider it. And it is scary at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's just like your own room. And luckily, me and my roommate do not have the same class schedule, which is awesome because if I need to do something and need alone time, my roommate will probably be in class. So it works out really good that like if I have a morning class, she might have an afternoon class. So she gets the morning by herself and I get the afternoon. And that just works great because we are both cheerleaders so we see each other at practice also. So it works out really good that we don't have the same class schedule. So if you can try to work on that, make sure you do that because I have alone time when I need alone time and she gets her alone time. So it's just awesome. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you guys have any more questions, feel free to message me or ask, and yeah, I'll see you next week. Thanks, see.